Hey guys, Tegan here from Blue Sense Digital. How do you set up your audience segments in the Facebook Ads Manager so that you can access this audience breakdown feature over here? So if you go to breakdown to demographics and then down to audience segments over there, as you can see, it breaks down campaign ad slash ad set performance into those different audience segments and you can obviously assign different Facebook audiences to each of these segments. And then in addition to um, having a view over where your spend is going. So for example, here on this specific structure, we've structured this in a way that we push most of that spend through a new audience. You can change that in the actual campaign settings itself down under this section here within Advantage Plus, so existing budget, so existing customer budget cap, you can obviously set that accordingly. So how do you set up this different audience segmentation? The first step, go into the three lines, all tools, then go to add account, sorry, go to add account settings, and that should take you into your ad account settings. Then from here, the you or the user interface can sometimes be different on different accounts. So sometimes that audience breakdown will appear down at the bottom over here. If it doesn't appear over here, then go up to uh, go up to Advantage Plus shopping campaigns over there under ad account setup, and it should take you to advertising settings over here. And then from here, as you can see, this is where you can define your engaged um, or your engaged audience, your existing customer audience. And then obviously the new customer audience would be anyone who doesn't fall into either one of those categories. So to adjust this, uh, you can pick from existing audiences that you've created in the Facebook audience section already. So in this example here, for an engaged audience, we're just gonna do 180 day visitors. Um, so we're gonna choose that audience, that visitor audience there. You can do Facebook engages, Instagram engages, whatever you find is the most relevant for your brand. Then existing customers, we're gonna do, as you can see here, this is what I had previously set up Previously, there wasn't the engaged audience. It was only existing customers or new customers. So I had added all these add to carts, uh, you know, visitors, etc., into the existing customer audience. But obviously now we can segment that out between existing customers and an engaged audience. So I'm gonna remove the purchases from here. Um, so we're just gonna leave 90 day add to carts and 180 day website visitors in there. Then just hit confirm. Sorry, so as you can see here, I'd added 180 day visitors, which was correct. And then in, in the existing customers, this was 180 day visitors as well. You can't have the same audience in two segments. So I'm just gonna remove that and add 180 day purchases in there, which is this audience here. And now that should work. Okay, there we go. So that's updated. And you won't be able to see this breakdown if you go back into your campaign structure. So if I go back to the ads manager, and I segment by the audience segment functionality down here. As you can see, it's still broken down between um, existing customers and a new audience. Only once the new audience structure spends, will you be able to see what percentage of spend is getting redirected into each audience segment. So hopefully that helps. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one.